Yo, yo, what's up, everyone? We are Comic Con Bound, New York Comic Con. I will post a video about San Diego Comic Con 2019 when I get back from New York Comic Con. Procrastinating on that a little bit. Check out these ultra cool tickets. I put a picture of them so you can check it out. Check out this cool four day badge. This will be my third New York Comic Con, so I've definitely learned a couple of things uh, for those of you who are first time attending. I'll give five quick tips on how to maximize your dollar value out of New York Comic Con. Tip number one, if you don't have a ticket, uh, what you can do is go on Light Exchange, which is a New York Comic Con uh, authorized reseller, or what I did the previous year, uh, to get my girlfriend an extra ticket was that I went on Craigslist the day of. Now, if you can wait until the day of, people usually uh, want to give up the tickets because something came up, they can't go, something happened, uh, you might just get lucky. So you might be able to get a good deal the night before, uh, possibly the day of. And you also have to be okay with the possibility of not getting a ticket. Uh, but just to give you an idea, a ticket would cost about, I don't know, $68, $62 after taxes, shipping, all that stuff uh, from New York Comic Con itself. But if you get it uh, the day of, not saying everyone's get this price, but on the day of, I've gotten a ticket for like 25 bucks. Then I got a Friday ticket for like 25 bucks. And then I got a Saturday ticket for like $50. So both of it, which is under the retail value, of the Comic Con ticket itself. Of course you run the risk of it being fake. Uh, uh, luckily that didn't happen to me. It's pretty hard to uh, fake these tickets. If you have one in hand, you kind of know how the other one should look and feel. I have been scammed by ticket, uh, what is it called, uh, hawkers before. So do be careful. Oh, tip number two, uh, to save money not on tickets, but to save money on food is to bring your own food. So Comic Con allows you to bring in food as much as you want. I'm not sure if they allow you to bring in liquids, uh, but definitely you can bring as much food as snacks as you want. So last year, me and my girlfriend, we, uh, we like to cook, so we packed and cooked our own food. Plus we're vegetarian and vegan, so there's not much, uh, typically, uh, there's, there's options, but it's just not worth it, right, to pay 15 bucks for a salad or something like that. So we'll pack our own um, dishes and um, we'll just carry it in a backpack and uh, go and eat at Comic Con. Now I will give you an inside tip for getting free food, but it might not apply to this year's Comic Con. So last year's Comic Con, if you go up to the Sci-Fi Lounge, they had um, uh, those claws. So the claw machines, you go down, you grab a happy doll, or you can go down and grab an Easter egg. So I saw everyone going for the dolls and then someone whispered back to me, say, hey, go for the Easter egg. I'm like, what's in the Easter egg? Why would I want the Easter egg? And he told me that, hey, in the Easter egg, there's vouchers for food. So me and my girlfriend um, started going after the Easter eggs and I think we got $60 worth of free food for four days. And we gave some to friends as well because uh, we couldn't eat it all. <laughs> Uh, the food vouchers only work for the food in the food court. It doesn't work for the, um, the trucks. So just FYI. Not sure if they're going to have that this year. But if they do, um, hopefully you guys go for the egg. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, these last two. Check this out. Bam. That's my Stranger Kids. Uh, Garbage Pail Kids with Stranger Things as brand. That's the only thing I've kept in Comic Con this last year. I, I saw everything else. Uh, just had to make a little bit of money that year, so uh, got rid of those. Tip number three for saving money. So if you're traveling out of state for New York Comic Con and you don't have anywhere to stay, best place to stay is New Jersey. So Jersey City, Meadowlands, uh, even Fort Lee area. Getting from New Jersey to New York is really fast, really easy. It's the same amount of time and cost as um, staying in Brooklyn or Queens or something like that. So 
definitely if you can't find places to stay in New York, you want to save some money. Meadowlands, New Jersey is the city. Um, and then Jersey City and then uh, Fort Lee as well. Those are all places with uh, public transportation. You take the Port Authority, it costs you I think um, $4 each way. And uh, it's a short walk from Port Authority to New York Comic Con. So tip number four I would say is uh, you want to go out there and get some memorabilia. You want to take home some some toys, some new releases, some comics and whatnot. So what I recommend doing, and this might rub other people wrong, but if you really want something, I think you should buy two of them. One to buy and then one to sell online. And a lot of people think, oh, that's not fair. You know, why are you selling it for double the price? Uh, for people who are not at Comic-Con, that just raises the price for collectors. Uh, but to think about it, there's a lot of people who wants these toys but they, have, they can't, they're not in New York Comic Con. Uh, but what they don't know is there's a lot of costs going into these events as well. You gotta pay for a hotel, some people gotta pay for flight, and then also your time's valuable. You gotta go there, right? And then you gotta ship it, you gotta, there's all these things. So I think double the cost for the toy collectible is pretty, pretty reasonable. Now if you go like four or five times the cost, then that's something that's like, I'm not so sure about that. Uh, but if you want to save money on your own collector's item, there's always people that's going to buy um, New York Comic Con toys. And the way that you check that is just go on eBay and see if it's selling. If it's not, then you can still buy it. Just know that you're not going to offset the cost of what you paid for it. Now, if there are people um, looking to buy these items, uh, what you want to do is you want to list it immediately while you're there at Comic Con. Take a picture of it. Um, so they know that's real, they know that you're there um, at the Comic Con. Tell them that you ship it after all the events is over. And um, uh, make sure you do it for uh, buy it now, don't do auction. Uh, prices are higher at the Comic Con uh, four day event. After the four day event, prices just start dropping off immediately. So if you wanna, if you wanna collect and you don't wanna spend uh, too much money, you wanna offset your cost, then I recommend buying two. Now don't blame me if you get stuck with the items, okay? Maybe the item that you like to collect doesn't sell a lot online. Bam! That's the only thing I have from San Diego Comic Con. <laughs> so the last tip to get the most value out of Comic Con is to simply to do, and is simply to go to exhibitors, um, artists, or panels that you enjoy, um, that you love. A lot of them will give away something free, a lot of them won't, but it doesn't hurt to go try and look it up. Uh, and if you just want to extract the most value, uh, not because you're a fan, just because you want a lot of free stuff, then what you want to do is you want to plan ahead and look through all the panels, uh, possibly even exhibitors that have giveaways and whatnot. Uh, New York has a lot of giveaways versus San Diego Comic Con, that's what I've seen have, because it's ran by different organizers. Um, San Diego Comic Con is a nonprofit. New York is ran by a Reed Pop, so they're for profit. Um, they have these uh, was RFID chips and within these badges you can tap it. So I don't know how to do it in New York, but they've gotten the vendors to all tap your badge to get your information, but they'll give something cool at the end of the day. Also, um, at the panels and at, at a lot of panels, they'll have some comic giveaways, they'll have some poster giveaway sometimes uh, at the main hall there's a lot of giveaways there it is there's my five tips for getting the most value out of New York Comic Con I hope you enjoy I hope to see you there and if I don't please message me for any questions and I'll try to answer as best as I can